Hello, David here, and a very big welcome to our Benita Chow Christian Fellowship Virtual Church Service. An extra warm welcome if you're visiting us for the first time. We hope you'll enjoy singing and praising the Lord with us, and hearing the message from Hugh Williams from his home in Wales. It's wonderful to see you all. I say that in the context of an online recording. If you're watching by a catch-up, Laura and I hope we might get to see you if you're in Spain over the coming weeks. We arrived in Spain this Tuesday morning, sometime after 1am, and totally exhausted. It was an interesting journey, constantly relevant to our Christian journey too, and I hope you'll bear with me while I share some of those details. We had left North Yorkshire at 8.30 Monday morning. It was light rain while we walked 20 minutes to the station for the first of three train and one tram journeys. The walk wasn't Yorkshire thrift. We we're both Mancunians, but we actually prefer to start our mostly seated journey with some light exercise. Because we hoped to be in Spain for a couple of months, we'd also decided to visit Laura's mum en route, and either side of the detour required two taxi journeys. When we finally got to Manchester Airport, it was like a ghost town, and Laura said, Do you think our flight will be cancelled again? No, I replied, realising I was totally at peace. I need to point out here that our original rail journey had been cancelled two weeks ago, then last week our flight was cancelled, and this is why we face such an inefficient commute as we desperately tried to find ways to Spain. There was real reason to be concerned. In my reply to Laura, my confidence was truly in the Lord. His plans will be fulfilled whatever happens, I said. If he wants us to go, we will. If he doesn't, then we won't. Isaiah had already spelt it out clearly and simply in the Old Testament. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Returning to the airport scenario, Laura said, Did you see those armed police? No, I said, and went off to see our newly landed plane being boarded by four heavily armed police. A man surrounded by the police soon came off in handcuffs. That's it, I said to Laura. On our flight, we are not to take off our face masks. Not that we would. What happened next? Nothing. Our plane took off on time. It landed early, and our car, undriven for ten months, was delivered for collection on arrival, and our journey to Moraira was uneventful. So, might an ordinary UK to Spain journey carry any other messages? It's perhaps something to meditate on, and, and we had prayed constantly to be guided about our trip. We have two daughters with children, and we're in a bubble with the one who lives nearby, and Laura and I both kept feeling Spain was the right option, in spite of coronavirus risks in both countries, and especially in the transit between the two. In the Bible, Paul tells us we will have trouble, hardship and distress. And it's been really challenging, weighing everything up as you might imagine. Paul encourages us. He had far more to bear in his life than we ever did in leaving the UK. As he said, he had nothing, yet possessed everything. And when he was struggling, he took comfort with the arrival of his Christian brother, Titus. We know how much we've been longing to catch up with our BCF Christian brothers and sisters too. So to be here is indeed a blessing and a comfort. As I've said, we very much look forward to catching up with you over the coming weeks. If any of us needed further encouragement, I suspect it will be delivered during today's service. The message from Hugh Williams will concentrate on Philippians 4.19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. I can't wait. Let us now dedicate our service to him in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we come before you today, we want to raise our hearts in praise and worship and in thankfulness for all you have done for us. Bless you, Williams, as he delivers your message that his words are your words that they may richly fill us with your hope for us. Let this service witness our love for you, and may we grow more in our understanding of you. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.